I'm Ryan Tarakuri. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Manfrotto B3 Live tripod. This is a compact video tripod with a leveling base and a fluid head. As a landscape photographer, I've been looking for a compact tripod to take on backpacking trips for video, and this might be the perfect fit. So I'm going to put it through its paces and see how it holds up. First thing I noticed about this tripod is how compact and lightweight it is. It's weighing in at 1.8 kilograms or 3.9 pounds and the folded length is 40 centimeters or 15.7 inches. It can carry up to 4 kilograms or 8.8 .8 pounds so that's plenty of weight to carry a variety of video setups and the full extended height is 152 centimeters or 59.5 inches. So that's a pretty good amount of height. With the tripod fully extended, it's sturdy enough to use for video indoors. But if I'm outdoors in some windy conditions, I would avoid using the center column fully extended because it can get a little bit shaky. So I would just put this down a little bit. And if it's still shaky, then I would put the last leg sections in and that will make it a lot sturdier. So overall, this is a pretty sturdy tripod seeing how compact it is. Uh, the only problem is just the last leg sections are just a little bit thin and the center column can get shaky if it's fully extended. The tripod's fluid head is very smooth. It makes it easy to get those panning and tilting shots. And with the locking adjustments on the pan and tilt, I can lock the tripod down for those stable shots. I think one of the main features about this tripod is that it has a compact fluid head and the other feature is the leveling base. And I've never seen a leveling base on a compact tripod like this and it makes it a lot easier to level out the tripod on an uneven surface. You don't have to go play around with the height of the legs. All you have to do is set up your tripod so that it's fairly level and then twist this adjustment, make it level with the bubble level. It makes it very easy to adjust once it's in the middle. Tighten this down and the camera will be level. I think the leg angle adjustment is very intuitive and well designed. So over here there's a lock and if I flip it all the way to the left, that's for storing the tripod. It makes the leg reversible. If I flip it to the middle, this is going to make it the normal angle adjustment on the tripod. And if I flip it all the way to the right, it'll make it a wide angle so this can make it very sturdy.
I've noticed at times that with heavier setups, it can be a bit too easy to move around, so there's not enough friction. And if you don't balance your camera correctly, it could end up moving by itself when you let go. So you want to make sure to balance the camera by sliding the plate and then it shouldn't move when it's when your hands off the knob so i spent my morning filming in different locations and overall i think the tripod's very good for backpacking because it's compact and lightweight so if you want a compact and lightweight video tripod i think this is for you so for youtubers photographers videographers who want something easy to take around just throw it in a backpack I think it's great and it's not the most sturdy so it won't replace the full-size tripod and video head but it works great for traveling around so there's only a few minor problems with the legs being not sturdy enough with the last section and the center column extended all the way but that's only in windy environments and the other problem I had was the head not having enough friction for heavier setups. So that's something to keep in mind. And one last thing, the when you tighten the leveling base, it kind of moves slightly. So you have to offset your uh, level so that it, when you tighten it down, it moves into the perfect place. So that's something I found that was kind of annoying. So I really like the design of the tripod, it's very easy to use, the flip locks are quick and easy to adjust, the leg angle adjustments are intuitive, and it, you can set it up and collapse it quickly and easily. If you found this review useful, please like, comment, and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.